My name is Elijah Cole, and I'll be presenting our paper on label granularity and object localization. For many problems in computer vision, it is not enough to know what is in an image. We also need to know where it is. Standard approaches to object detection and localization require bounding boxes for training, which are expensive to collect at scale. Weakly supervised object localization methods aim to sidestep this obstacle by learning to localize objects using only image-level labels at training time. A typical approach to weakly supervised object localization is as follows. First, we train an image classifier using image-level category labels. Next, given an image and its category label, we pass the image through the trained classifier and use a method like class activation mapping to determine which pixels the classifier correlates with the category label. Finally, we use standard image processing operations to turn the activation map into a bounding box prediction. Methods for weakly supervised object localization differ primarily in how they train the image classifier. But there is a more fundamental question which has received little attention. Which labels should we train on? When we work with benchmark datasets in computer vision, we often take the label set for granted. But most categories can be made more or less specific. What label granularity should we use to achieve good localization performance? Unfortunately, it is difficult to explore this question with existing benchmark datasets. To remedy this, we introduced the INATLOC 500 dataset, which consists of 138,000 images for weekly supervised training and 25,000 images with manually verified bounding boxes for validation and testing. INATLOC 500 covers 500 diverse categories with a consistent hierarchical label space. Using INATLOC 500, we can study localization performance as a function of label granularity. We study five different weekly supervised object localization methods. We show that training at an intermediate level of granularity leads to surprisingly large performance gains across methods compared to conventional training. Notice that the choice of label granularity often makes more difference than the choice of algorithm. Interestingly, localization performance suffers if the labels are either too fine or too coarse. On the other hand, classification performance consistently increases as the labels become more coarse. A good classifier can be a bad object localizer. We also study localization performance as a function of the amount of training data for different label granularities. We find that training on course labels is more data efficient than conventional training. For instance, training at the family granularity level achieves the same performance as conventional training with 15 times fewer labels. Coarser labels are also cheaper to obtain because they require less expertise. It is much easier to tell a bird from a reptile than it is to tell apart two bird species. Check out the paper for more detailed results and analysis, including additional experiments on ImageNet, CUB, and FGVC aircraft. Thanks for watching. Code and data can be found on our project page.